west coast of India, in the Gulf of Cambay, lies the port of the Hage. This port is an important terminal for the offloading of liquefied natural gas and is a vital link in India's energy infrastructure. Petronet LNG awarded AFCONS the project to build its standby jetty at the Hage. Construction of standby jetty for Petronet LNG Limited has a major challenge. See, at this location is very rough in terms of tidal variation and current. The location of the jetty is in an area where the sea is very deep. This part of the west coast, that is the hedge, where this jetty is being constructed, is having a tidal variation of 10 meters. It is very severe. That was also a challenging. It is one of the biggest in international scenario where this jetty is to be made. Afghan's rich experience in working on some of the most challenging offshore projects in India and overseas gave it the confidence that it could not only complete this project, but also complete it ahead of schedule. This is an APC project for AFCONS, designed on international standards and codes for safe operation, serviceability, and the all-season berthing of the LNG vessels in this location. And this project is running parallel to an existing jetty, with a small distance of around 500 meters between the two jetties. This jetty, when constructed, will increase the capacity of Petronet LNG for storing of LNG. The jetty extends 2.5 kilometers into the sea. At the end is a jetty head structure that comprises four breasting dolphins and eight mooring dolphins that hold the ship securely as the LNG is offloaded. Finally, a network of catwalks connect various parts of the jetty head structure. The jetty can receive ships carrying up to 266,000 cubic meters of liquefied natural gas to dock at the port and offload the product to storage tanks within 24 hours. It is the largest jetty in India to receive ships of this size and capacity. The offloading point at the end of the jetty is its key feature. To construct this 2.5 kilometer into the sea and with a high tide of up to 10 meters, Afghans brought in Samrat, its largest self-elevating platform. Samrat, which is the biggest jack-up in India, has the unique ability to work in depths of more than 30 meters. Designed and built by Afghans, this 2,928-ton behemoth was deployed for the first time at the Hage. जिस लोकेशन में जो फ्रंटेड लोडेड हम लोग जो बोलते हैं जो अनलोडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म जिसे कहता है उस अनलोडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म में वाटर डेप्थ 16 मीटर से ज्यादा है और उस जगह में ये सम्राटी काम कर सकता है और उस सम्राट का वजह से उसका विड्थ और लेंथ काफी बड़ा होने के कारण एक लोकेशन से हम लोग काफी सारा पाइल मारने के लिए अचीव कर सका हुआ है in addition, Afghans also deployed the smaller Maharaja and Maharani SEP jackups. Samrat jackup में जो arrangement दिया हुआ है, जो electronic systems हैं, जिसे काफी fast operation होता है, उस operation के कारण jackup position में लेके जाना और उधर में उसको mount करना, इस Samrat का वजह से काफी easy हो जाता है, और इसमें anchor का positioning, as per जो हम लोग प्रोग्राम कर देते हैं जो हमारा कोऑर्डिनेट्स है वो कोऑर्डिनेट का अकॉर्डिंगली हम लोग एंकर का पोजीशन करता है उससे पोजीशनिंग करना बहुत इजी हो जाता है अदरवाइज एक्यूरेसी जो है जो कंस्ट्रक्शन करना है और जो क्लाइंट्स को डिलीवरी करना है हमको उसमें अगर क्वालिटी मेंटेन करना है तो सम्राट जैसा जैकब से ही इधर कर सकता था वर्क बिगन बाय कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ टेंपरेरी बंद दैट अलाउड द बर्थिंग ऑफ फ्लोटिंग वेसल्स as well as a loading of materials. Next, piles that support the entire structure were erected. Steel pipes measuring up to 21 kilometers were procured for this purpose. 
These were brought in lengths of 12 to 15 meters apiece and joined to the desired length at the splicing yard and then transferred to site. Fast progress achieve करने के लिए जो crane से हम लोग beam placing करते थे, उस crane को हम लोग यहाँ पर modify किया हुआ है, जिसे super lift कोई भी जगह में land में operate होता है, मगर हम लोग इधर first time उसको elevated platform में operate किया हुआ है, उससे हमारा जो जट्टी का precast unit जो है, वो placing fast हुआ है. The powerful jack up barge lifts the piles with ease, places them precisely in position, and drives them into the ground with vibro hammers. And hydraulic piling hammers. Prefab concrete decking was then laid out on the piles. More than 20,000 cubic meters of concrete was used in the project. The use of modern machinery and efficient processes ensured speedy, safe and quality execution of the project. We have carried out till now 7 million safe man hours without any LTA, which is one of the thing to speak because uh, this is a marine job. We have operated around the year operation during the monsoon also. We have continued this project to keep the schedule in time and delivery the project to the owners. For completion of any project or installation, there is the requirement of 3M, manpower, machinery and material. This manpower and machinery and material is totally, adequately enough deployed by the FCON. The FCON's motto was the, to complete the job within the time. The FCONs in terms of manpower and material, they have never looked backward towards the mobilization. They have mobilized the very skilled and experienced manpower for the site. In addition, they have mobilized some broad jack-up that has become the main strength. While the project in itself is yet another success for Afghans in deep waters, large tidal range and high current, we take great pride in the performance of Samrat, designed and built by Afghans. At the Hage, Afghans has set the benchmark for the execution of offshore engineering projects. And as India enjoys the benefit of using a clean energy like LNG, we are proud that we've played a small yet important role in making this happen.